So let's create a Laravel project again, Laravel new blog. And I can now CDN and open this in Sublime. But I'd like to work with a database. So I'm going to sign in with a username of root and a password of an empty string. All right, we're in. So as long as you have a bit of uh, SQL experience, you should be all set to go. For example, you could create a database called blog and then use blog. And let's see what tables we have. Of course, we have none. But take a look at this. Back in our project, you'll see this .env file. Think of this as a single secure place to store uh, everything from passwords to keys to API keys, uh, all of those things. We'll have one file for local development, and then we'll also create this file on our production server that will have production-specific keys. Anyways, you can see here, database connection defaults to MySQL. You'll see that Laravel pre-populates these for you. Now, in this case, we're not using Laravel Homestead, so the database will be, well, we called it blog, right? The username is root, and the password is nothing. Next, I will run a command in a new tab called PHP Artisan Migrate. Don't worry about this right now. Suffice it to say that Laravel includes the schema or the configuration for a couple tables that almost all projects will use. So it gets you up and running very quickly. And when we call migrate, that's our way of saying, turn the schema, the, the PHP definition of what these tables should look like, and actually create the database tables. And so you'll see that we created those. So now if we come back and we run show tables again, you'll see that yes, we have a users table and a migrations table. And if you're curious, you'll find these within database, migrations, users. This is what a users table consists of, and then a password resets table. But again, kind of confusing stuff right now. We'll get to all of that. The important thing to know is that now our application is hooked up to our database. So at this point, yeah, you can do it through the command line or find some kind of MySQL GUI that you like. On the Mac, I'm a big fan of SQL Pro. On Windows, there's so many different options. Just find one you like. So why don't we call this Laravel from scratch? The host will be localhost, and it's asking me if I want a socket connection. Yes, I do. Okay, the username is root. There is no password. We call it the database blog. I'm gonna save this and connect, and we're in. Here's the users table that we created. Perfect.